Hello caffeine feeds and welcome to another coffee review video for www.getbeaned.com I'm Vince the Mean Bean Machine and today we're looking at Marley Coffee Buffalo Soldier Blend Now as you may have picked up there straight away uh, This is a coffee uh, company owned by the Marley family It was founded by Rohan Marley who I believe is a son of uh, Bob Marley um, I wouldn't quote me on that, I would double check that, but it is, uh, you know, owned and operated by Marley founder, Marley, <laughs> Marley family members um, who are, were, are related to Bob Marley, the famous singer. Um, and that's where a lot of the branding comes from. Um, you can see his kind of image and his music splashed all over the branding and whatnot. Um, now, one of the things about that is I thought that maybe there was kind of a, a connection to Jamaica. They were growing this coffee perhaps in the, uh, I think they've got Blue Mountains in Jamaica where coffee is grown. I think that's where it is. Um, uh, but anyway, I don't think this coffee necessarily is. I think it is just a branding exercise from the family, utilising, you know, that name and that music. And, and you know, why not? I'm not, I'm not blaming them for that. I'm just saying there's no kind of link. Um, you know, if my dad was a global superstar, I would milk it for all it's worth. Unfortunately for me, he worked for the NHS and I'm stuck making YouTube videos. Um, anyway, so I bought this uh, because I've seen the brand around for a while. I've, uh, I am a Bob Marley fan um, and I just thought that'd be fun. That'd be a bit of fun, wouldn't it? You know, Bob Marley coffee. And I like the song Buffalo Soldier, so I bought the coffee, Buffalo Soldier. Give it a go. Um, 6 dollars 227 grams, so instant suspicion there that it's not going to be kind of peak coffee, it's not going to be the best of the best. Um, then you check the tasting notes and it goes kind of, you know, it says, has dark chocolate tones. And that's all the tasting notes I get, so yeah, I'm not, to be fair, so it says, uh, earthy and bold dark roast blend, sultry smoky, deliciously smooth. The dark chocolate and berry undertones leave a rich lingering finish in this liberating cup. Right, dark chocolate and berry undertones. Cool, I can I can work with that. Um, so yeah, I, I mean it'll be interesting um, to see whether it's just kind of a marketing ploy or if it is decent coffee. So there is our shot, as you can see, actually quite dark indeed. I wouldn't have called it medium dark myself, I would have said dark, but there you go. You notice the darkness when you pour the beans out of the bag, you smell it, um, so it'll be less caffeinated, but it will have a kind of rich smoky flavour, as the bag suggests. So I'm hoping for kind of smokiness. Um, it says chocolatey and berries, so it doesn't give me a lot to go on. I think it's going to be quite a mild coffee, to be honest. I think it'll be, you know, there'll be a richness there, um, but I don't think it'll be kind of too punchy, too in your face. Um, so we'll give a go as a shot, see what we think. It smells really rich. It smells lovely, actually. It has this lovely, dense aroma to it. So, yeah. not strong at all actually not strong at all but that darkness definitely really kind of pulls through right at the end so there is a smokiness to it um, but again nothing too strong and you know that might cause a strong reaction effectively um, and I think uh, it's a nice middle of the road kind of coffee for those who like a smoky flavour what I'm getting about the dark note, the dark notes, yes, but dark chocolate, no, I'm not getting um, any kind of strong note per se. There's a nice creaminess actually to the top of the note, to the top of the tasting it. There's a real kind of creaminess that just kind of gets you at the end and you're like, oh, that's nice. There's no kind of acidity or, or catch of the throat, so the smokiness is there. And perhaps like a light dark chocolate, but 
that's a really pleasant coffee but with no punch um and i'm kind of struggling for what to say about it because all i'm getting is that kind of smoky dark there's a dark there is a darkness to it and i understand where dark chocolate comes from it's not as rich as other things that would say dark chocolate i don't get the berries i'm not getting any acidity at all and it's not wildly fruity but that smoky it's almost like for if anyone's uh, been a guinness drinker or something there's a smokiness to that there's a rich kind of smoky taste but without the bitterness so it's a bit akin to that and that nice creamy top that just kind of balances that out really well actually really well um and i i'm enjoying that but it's not it's not a bold cup of coffee so i don't think it will particularly go well as a latte but we will give it a go as an oat latte um and maybe a few more things kind of balance out and, and that fruitiness that is supposed to be there that that berry undertone is supposed to be there so we'll we'll see if anything is brought out by that but i'm not holding out high hopes we'll, we'll, we'll see So there we have it in latte form, not my best pour. I will put my hands up to that, but it should be good enough for the purposes of this. So I'm expecting that smokiness to kind of dissipate a little. That'll, that's the overpowering kind of tone I get. So I think it'll still be there. And maybe a bit of the fruitiness will come to the fore, but ultimately I think that that darker aspect to it will, will just kind of rise up and it will just be dampened down a little bit by the milk. So, here goes. That is not a coffee suited to latte because it just kind of disappears into the milk. Um, you do get that really kind of actually pleasant smoky taste becomes so mild but it's there so it just kind of plays across the your tongue as an aftertaste which is nice because you kind of take a sip and you go that's not a strong coffee at all i'm not gonna and then the subtlety of the smokiness is there which is really really lovely but in terms of a lot of taste otherwise with a with a latte the milk just kind of kills it dead so as a shot very nice smokiness and the chocolate like a slight chocolatey nut to it but really you just kind of go that's a nice dark coffee not particularly you know caffeine heavy because of the dark roast um but with a nice smoky tone to it and you kind of go yeah you know what that's not bad but then you put milk into it and it just kind of the smokiness is nice and there it's nicely there um, on, you know, as a very, very subtle, so, you know, subtle tone coming through, but ultimately, I don't think this is, I would, put simply, I would happily take that camping with the cafetiere or a, you know, mocha pot thing, brew that up and drink it all day, you know? It's, it's something that makes you kind of go, oh, I've drunk coffee. You know you've had a cup of coffee, but you're not going to, you know, feel that queasiness that sometimes you do if you're over-caffeinated or whatever. Um, it's not a bad coffee. I don't think anyone would drink that and go, ugh, that is... But it's, it's so kind of mild and inoffensive in a lot of what it does, you know, so as to appeal to the broadest market possible. So there's no sense of being bold and pushing the envelope, which is, you know, not, not a bad thing in terms of, like I say, it's going to appeal to the broadest market. But I think in terms of speciality co coffee drinkers, you probably aren't going to be too enamored by that. 
Um, however, I do think you could probably wheel that out, you know, with most people who come over to your house and go, this is a nice coffee. And most people will go, yeah, it is. So I'm going to go away and think about it, write up some notes and give you my final thoughts then. Uh, giving it my final thoughts and uh, unfortunately to say I think I'm only going to give it two stars that's not to say I don't like the coffee um, it is a perfectly nice coffee but it's just not got any kind of potency that a lot of independent roasters have or speciality roasters will it feels a lot more like this is um, you know a marketing exercise rather than a uh, a real attempt to make kind of serious coffee and I may be, be being unfair there um, but that, that's how it comes across it's not it's not the best coffee I've ever had I liked it but I feel you know within the, the range of speciality coffees I've been drinking it just can't compete to be honest um, with all the things I've reviewed prior to this um, one of my issues there was uh, with the blends I couldn't find anything about country of origin you know was it grown in Jamaica I don't think so there's a brief mention of kind of visiting farms in Ethiopia on the website but it doesn't say that the coffee is grown in Ethiopia so where is this coffee from so that annoyed me as well um, 6.99 is a good price though well so you know plus delivery you know 10 euro bag really um, which isn't isn't bad but it's it is what it is so you know my notes rather kind of say strong smokiness comes through but no other particularly potent notes which is true there's there's not a lot to it you get the darkness of the roast the smokiness and then you kind of go and that's it you know it's not watery it's it's got that lovely kind of richness to it but not a richness of anything other than the kind of smoky dark you know <laughs> you know almost a grainy taste um, and it's considerably dulled by milk. Nothing comes out with uh, the addition of milk. It, it doesn't kind of, you don't kind of go, oh, and the fruitiness is played up. You just kind of go, right, so that's just adding milk. Um, you know, and I know that's essentially it, but where with other coffees I've reviewed, I've gone, okay, but one note is dulled down, so it brings another to the fore. This is not happened for me, I'm afraid. So just the two stars today, but uh, thank you for it. It is a nice coffee and I wouldn't kind of warn you off buying it. Perfectly nice, just not for me. So thank you very much for watching. Do hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep checking us out at www.getbeamed.com for more coffee reviews, equipment reviews and anything else coffee related. Thank you very much. Take care and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.